Welcome to Coastal Garage Vintage and our River of Art exhibition, Oceana. This is going to take you through a little guided tour to tell you a little bit about the pieces. Uh, firstly, we have some fused glass work um, that I've created. Um, I'm Janet. Um, first is Turos Water. It is a fused and draped piece. Um, love the actual uh, Robin Egg blue in that one. Uh, coming through to Floating Reeds, which is also uh, kiln formed and then kiln carved, so laying pieces of paper underneath to get the other images through. Uh, this one is a dropout, um, ocean sailing. Um, if you can, I can see uh, the sailing boats in that one um, and it's been draped through some uh, wires um, to give it that effect. Uh, here's a fairly much more um, contemporary bowl, uh, fused and slumped Neptune's bowl. Um, and then moving on to uh, some of the jewellery pieces that you can purchase at Coastal Garage Vintage, uh, again in the ocean hues. Uh, my profile, just so you know a little bit about me. Uh, and then uh, moving on to some of my other pieces. Again, kiln formed, and uh, these ones have been draped over a mould uh, that creates that uh, almost lifelike flowing of the reeds in the water. Uh, and then um, we've got there both uh, tidal, tidal gardens and Placidinia, which is a Greek god. And we're coming up to Ocean Sky Dance where I was inspired by the water and the ocean when it reaches and, um, up to the sky. Uh, and that one has been pieced together and then slumped over a form to create that wave. Coming around now to some of Naomi's work. Naomi Crowther has been a um, prolific poppy painter over time and she's now really uh, excelling in these ocean uh, inspired pieces. So we have shallow surrendering the deep at the top, which is, uh, has some fiberglass work through it, giving it that 3D uh, feel. Uh, and then we have nine dreams with three uh, jetties. Uh, you know, it almost takes you to Tonkin where the jetties uh, push out and over the river. And this next one uh, is the teal glow pre-dusk. And you can see there the uh, sunlight reaching through on the golden peaks of those um, that mountain range. And then we're moving through to Pauline Barnes's work. Pauline is also um, a local artist who works in acrylics and um, it's amazing to get the actual almost photo-like uh, quality in the water, in the waves and the movement. Uh, and this one um, with a red dot uh, and I just need to pop over there to get the name of that one uh, decent dose of daily salt absolutely at the beach um, and then we have um, carry your cares away as the uh, water uh, retreats back into the ocean followed by uh, Just reaching in there to see, it's an evil ray kind of day. Uh, and above that is feeling the calm. And you can certainly feel that in those paintings. We've then got a sunset cruise as the, um, the whales head north, I think at this stage. Uh, it could be south, <laughs> I think it's north at this time of the year. Uh, and then the beautiful colours in that sunset. Uh, and then above that we have blue rain. Uh, again, the actual ocean movement there in that wave is tremendous. I love this one, this uh, sense of being under the water, uh, delivered into the blue, uh, and just the, the feel of that sand. Uh, and then we have uh, dropped in for a cheery, a cheeky hello and a lovely look at that dolphin and he has got a smile on his face. 
Then we have uh, Weedy Delight, another little piece of mine, which um, I just love the uh, free flowing uh, reedy action under the water. So it picks up the different colours, um, mainly the sort of green and, and uh, amber sort of hues. And it fits beautifully with our leafy sea dragon paradise. The one above is uh, blue day white horses uh, and you can actually see a rainbow in that one which I love. And again looking at that sand at the bottom of the ocean, uh, my zen den, stunning. And you can see the actual water sparkling on the top there. We have a little group of four here, which are the tail talisman, the ocean lord into breach, sorry, once more into the breach, <laughs> um, family flukes, the two tails coming up there, and heading south in sync. Another uh, piece which I think is amazing is just that way that water moves and it's Bombora. Uh, again, another stunning piece of wave action. And then we move into one of Naomi's major pieces that she actually creates down at Sunshine Cove uh, using actual real pieces of seaweed. And again, uh, would look magnificent on a huge open space. And I'm going to take you through to the um, uh, corridor where we have a few more pieces, uh, some fun pieces there firstly, uh, typical of uh, coastal living, particularly uh, seasonal seafood delights. And we have uh, over to the left we have seafood banquet entree, seafood banquet entree two. And then over here we have Seafood Banquet Main and Seafood Banquet Main 1. And we turn around now to another one of Naomi's which is much more in her, I guess a mix of her poppies and also her uh, seaweed. Um, and then two more from Pauline, a lovely little seagull and another ocean wave. And then finally, uh, the last piece, uh, which is Ocean Play, which is another kiln formed piece. And I've kiln carved into that um, what could be dolphin tails, whales tails, or it could be mermaids, or they could all be there together. So when the light comes through, you can see various sort of shapes, and it's a sense of frolicking in the ocean. So we hope you enjoy the virtual tour. Uh, and me talking over it. We might put up one where I'm not talking, um, but we um, really appreciate your time to um, stop and, and, and enjoy uh, what we have to show. Um, and I just missed one, and I need to bring your attention over here to the magnificent Megaptera, uh, which is absolutely stunning. And that's the final piece um, from Pauline. So thanks again, everyone. Enjoy the virtual tour. Thanks to the River of Art for inspiring us to uh, put this collection together. And it's all available to see uh, in the flesh once uh, we're out of lockdown. Thanks, everyone.